guys, what's up? <laughs> Dumbasses. <What? laughs> hey guys, what's up? Uh, Cody, you're a horrible person, and he just shot the ground next to the stormtrooper and he died. <laughs> See, before we got started on this video just now, I employed uh, profane language in my speech <laughs> instead of using the appropriate lexicon for our videos, and I apologize deeply for that. I'm really f***ing sorry. Cody! <laughs> <laughs> alright, fine, alright. Uh, oh, 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 dang it, Cody! You really gotta use correct language, Cody! <laughs> So like, what if what if Marlin from Finding Nemo was actually just like a drunk parent, like he's just like Rick. Rick? He's just Rick, like Rick from Rick and he Morty. He just has like he just has like the spiky hair and everything. Oh no! So someone really needs to like draw that or something. Like, oh Coral, uh, the kids would have been just fine, Coral. Coral, you, Coral. you led the Barracuda to the eggs, yeah, Coral. You dumb <laughs> Coral, you led the Barracuda Coral. straight Coral. to Coral. the eggs, Coral. Back in the end enemy. Uh, what, what are you? No 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 no! Don't get. Don't we go down there. <laughs> we can make more kids, Coral. Uh, you're irreplaceable. Name them all, uh, Marlin Jr. <laughs> I have a receding hairline, Coral. You know how hard it is for me to mate. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> if, we, if, we were, if we were being scientifically accurate, I don't want to turn into a female. What the? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You left me for a <laughs> cripple for a son. Uh, what the? <laughs> stupid. Oh, no. Stupid. I, I, you know we could have easily had more kids. We could have had an empire, Coral. <laughs> we, we, we were gonna take over the whole ocean, and, uh, and he, you, you, you squandered it. We could have ruled the galaxy as husband and wife, Coral. You know what, Nemo? I, I never loved your mom. She was a means to an end. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> oh, now that that bit's out of the way. <laughs> yeah, I just was thinking a lot about Pixar recently, and just like, movies that make him cry. <laughs> And that movie always makes me cry. But, you know what, that helps, because now every time I watch it, I'll just think of Rick from Rick and Morty. Oh, no, I... Um, so is this, like, my master I'm on right now? The elevator? Shut up. <laughs> that joke was not funny in 2012, and it's not funny now. There we go. <gasps> What's Vader's wife's name? Ella! I'm turning this off. <laughs> No, I remember cringing like that so bad. I'm like, no, it's it's Padme. It's her, her name's Padme. Oh, that's even worse that you like correct, like used actual facts. I am like Ben Shapiro. All right, I combat I combat leftist lies with facts and logic. I kind of want to be on that ship just so I can die. <laughs> I kind of want to be on that ship, uh, Raylo, so that I can freaking die. Oh, uh, that was funny. Found that to be quite humorous. Because Raylo was never alive to begin with! Ha 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 ha! You know what though? They kissed because they're actually cousins. Actually, wait, no. Nephew and aunt. She she kissed him more times than she kissed Finn, so that's all I'm well, gonna say. Well, only and off I, screen. I hate that. Dude. I'm sure that off screen they probably had something going on. No, because she's totally friend zoned Finn at this point. But now they have lots of alone time together. If they give, I mean, if they were to like do some extended universe stuff like afterward and put them together, which I'm sure they will, like that's great. That's what I want. But like at the at this point, at the point of episode nine, he is totally so deep in the friend zone. He might even sink in it, and then there might be a tunnel underground under oh. the friend zone where he could um, heal a uh, force heal a snake, and it can get him out of there. I really love how that one tunnel just happened to have Ochi's dagger in it. Bones. I hate bones, said, you know, the person who fights in a war and has seen multiple dead bodies. Who said that? Oh. Did he actually? Yep. Ugh. I also really... Okay, how am I supposed to kill this guy? Oh, I'm actually doing damage. You did it last time, remember? Uh, yeah, but it took me forever. I think a lot of I think it's really funny. A lot of people have brought up the fact that they just decided randomly to make Poe a drug dealer before he became a, a resistance fighter. Like yeah. they say, that's really racist. Um, I guess that, that is kind of racist. Like and they could have brought up how he was like a an ace pilot, like how he. Oh, uh oh, there we go, there we go. Quick time, quick time. I hate these. <laughs> quick time, Get it. Wee! Do it. Oh. 
Oh, See, it's in. Oh, oh, all right. Okay, dang. That guy's dead. So very. Uh, oh, 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 well. Ezra, who? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, I, I didn't see that coming. Oh god. I kind of wanted to go on a tangent though with episode nine, and I think I've I've bickered about this to you before. But like them making Poe having once been like a spice runner before he joined the resistance. Don't that, think you've talked to me about this before. That's like blatantly contradictory to like the. Um, the books, you know, the supplementary material that, like... Like, before fans. The Awakening? Yeah, like, you find out that he went straight from fighting in the New Republic to fighting with the Resistance, but nope. Apparently, uh, in between those times, he was, like, a drug dealer, so that's neat. And, like, it just gets me going, because obviously, you... It's it's fine if every once in a while they contradict the supplementary material, because... But it's all the freaking time. Oh, wait. Like, the books are really just for us nerds who want more. But, like, stuff like when Finn goes, Indoor, that's where the Let War ended. But, like, if you read the books, it's actually Jakku. And it's like, again, that's fine. But here's the thing. These movies leave so much to be desired as far as, like, explanations. And they rely on you to read the books and stuff to understand, like, how Palpatine came back to life. Yeah. But, like, if they're not even going to, like, stick to their gun... I know what you're doing. <laughs> If they're not even going to stick to their books and, like, and like not contradict them, if they're going to rely on them to explain what should be explained in their movies, then they should not contradict them. be contradicting them. And, like, J.J. knows that Jakku is where the last war ended because he put the aftermath of the Battle of Jakku in The Force Awakens. They wrote that around The Force Awakens. Yeah. They wrote that. Because of the Force Awakens, they wrote it because the Star because Destroyers. Because JJ asked crashed. them to, uh, he knew that, and he yet, still instead, wrote that line for Finn, and it just it really grinds my gears. Anything else you want to complain about today? I mean, he could have just had Finn say, "Isn't that where Palpatine died, or isn't that where the Death Star exploded?" No, that's where the last war ended. <laughs> I guess he couldn't actually say that's where Palpatine died because it's not. Thanks, I mean, JJ. Yeah, okay. he didn't die he did at all. Lot, did a lot. This I is have fun. died before. No, you and have by not. died before, I mean I transferred, transferred my, my spirit into a clone and completely escaped death, but that's the same thing. You know, hey, remember that one line that uh, about Snoke? Where it was like, oh, hey, he's lived to see the Emperor's rise to power, and yeah. he... And he but, was like, "But that's not true." No, no, no. He and he's he's had Kylo Ren and at least one other apprentice. That was a solid tick in the Darth Plagueis category of, "Hey, that one other apprentice, Sidious, was perhaps." Sidious. I mean, yeah. Here's the thing. Um, they don't care. They don't care. <laughs> JJ definitely did not read the. Force Awakens novel, and again, that's fine. I don't expect them to like, to like, uh, I don't know, align their movies with with everything in the books. I'd like it if they did, but I know they're not going to. That's why I was fine with like, with like Poe and Rey meeting for the first time at the end of the Last Jedi, even though they technically already met <clears throat> at the end of the Force Awakens in the novel. Did you also see that scene in Force Awakens where they were standing two feet away from each other? Yeah, but I guess they just didn't say hi to each other. The point is, you can be contradictory to the little things like that. That's fine. Like, but don't turn around and tell me to go read a book if I want to know how freaking Emperor Palpatine survived Episode Six. It's pretty ridiculous. You can't have your cake and eat it, too. And it just really pisses me off. But I'm pretty sure in Episode Nine, Rey was really just trying to figure out if Palpatine was cake. But then she was about to try. She was about to try and see if he was cake, but then, and like... And then she found out that if she did, she would become cake, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no, I'm losing now, because I can't... Oh, I can't focus! <laughs> Where's Rom Koda? I can't see him! <laughs> He's everywhere and nowhere. Where did he go? He's behind... Oh, the camera, that's right. There you go. Oh, my God, he's just been, like, on your tail this entire time. Yes, exactly. All right, buddy, you're ready to die. Logan, what are you looking for? What? I'm looking to see if Coda is cake. You're looking for everything and nothing. <laughs> nothing and everything. What that does that, that even That mean? doesn't help! I know! <laughs> it's what my master told me. Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Quick time! Oh. 
See, like, it's harder ah! to do this with your left hand. Ah! I'm just telling you that, so. I hate quick time events so much. Plot twist, Vader is cake. Hey, I just want to, you know, bring this to everyone's attention. We're on minute 42, or sorry, as of right now, we're on 43 of the recording. Yeah. And uh, it took me an hour to get here last time. So, so uh, improvement, yeah. Improvements, yeah. Oh, yeah, I get well, slammed that, against the wall, dude. Or, I mean, right now, it's 9.45, whereas uh, the first time it was like 1 3 in the morning. Yeah. So, by the time you finished, you're a lot less tired is what I'm saying. Oh, yes. And I've also been doing nothing today. Yeah, I just came home from a 10-hour shift at Domino's Pizza. Pizzeria, so pizzeria, pizzeria, pizzeria. Give me right there. So, are we going to continue after this? Uh, Are we gonna probably. continue? We're gonna get this but after crap this done. Fight, we're gonna we're gonna end this video, so you guys will have to tune in next time to see what happens. To see if Coda was cake. Is Coda cake? Find out next time. Bye, guys. Stay tuned, folks. <laughs>